Ladies and gentlemen, it is a crazy, creepy, weird world out there, and here we stand, folks, al pie del cañón, ready for anything. I'm Rob Grams, that's Lady Boar, and you're listening to... The Bravo Show! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, you're listening to The Bravo Show. If you're listening on phone radio, it is currently 8.30 on... Um, uh, on what day are we? What day is it even? On Tuesday morning or evening. Um, welcome, welcome. If you're um, tuned in live to the show as we um, as we record it live, it is currently eight o'clock in the evening Central European time, two in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time for our American friends, and seven p.m. for our uh, British friends. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? Every, we see a lot of people in chat. It's nice to see that. How are you doing? We've got Trusky Trusky here, Gandalf. Um, Nuria Tam, obviously, Nuria Tam, JC, oh dude, all the, all the cool people, Kim, Kim of Tag, how are we doing out there, guys? Um, I'm, I was missing you today, I was ready for some Probo Show action today, that's why I spoke about it so much on the lunchtime show, and what a lunchtime show, you know? It's not so often you get to do your Elvis legs for people, what are Elvis legs? Well, you missed it, so, that's your punishment, you don't get to find out. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, uh, um, let's see what people are saying. Animo, Ladybo, tu puedes. says Chusky Trusky. Thank you. <laughs> Ladybo's back. Ladybo's back. I, I've, I set my jealousy aside. <laughs> She's back. How are you doing, Ladybo? I'm doing well. I'm glad you're back. It was a distraction not having you here. Because <laughs> <laughs> all everybody ever said was, where's Ladybo? Have you murdered her? Is she under the sofa? Almost. <laughs> Um, you're both very nicely dressed today. You look cool. Thank you, Chusky. If you want to see how cool we look, uh, that's a massive overstatement. I basically look like, I look like an egg, you know? Ladybug looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, you need to get her a bigger mic. She does not look anything like her. Yeah, I know. I need something to, really, it's not Ladybug. I've got, I've hired a body double. <laughs> it's just easier to work that way, you know? Oh, Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so what we've got coming up in the show today, let me tell you guys, in today's Complete the News, we're going to go to um, an Italian town and visit its mayor. We're also going to go to San Francisco to visit a construction site in Complete the News, two delectable news bits. Um, we're going to ask um, what kings what kings need in today's 100 humans, but that's in the second half, folks. In the first half, we've got a delectable um, uh, unpopular opinion today, which is actually unpopular on one of the social networks. Um, did you see today's unpopular opinion, Lady Bo? Yes, I uh, voted. Oh, you did? Did you agree with me? No. <laughs> there you go. See, it is the real Lady Bo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think. Um, what's that? I think. I can't remember. Oh, well, we'll see when we get into the into the section. Um, kings need pens that work. True story. Um, and um, but that's that's coming up in a little bit. First of all, this you're here, I'm here. Let's take a look at what's going on in the world. Um, well, Britain has got a new prime minister. Did you know that? Did everybody is everybody aware of the new prime minister? Did you know, Lady Bo? I didn't read anything today. No. No. What happened? Um, well, we've got a new PM. It was the person who was originally um, opposed to um, Liz Truss for the last conservative leadership election. Um, a, a young man. Well, he's not a young man. He's he's only a couple of years younger than me. Come on. <laughs> uh, a man by the name of Rishi Sunak. So congratulations to Rishi Sunak. Um, he's a centrist um, and very pragmatic. Um uh, which is a nice change because we've had some lunatics in charge of the country for a while. Um, upside, it used to be, like, Britain is going through some real economic crisis right now. I think anyone who reads anything about Britain or has read anything about Britain knows that there is some economic strife in the country. And the upside is that um, Rishi Sunak was the um, finance mis- minister. Um, that a, p- a position that used to be called Chancellor of the Exchequer. The downside is he was um, uh, he was the finance minister under Boris Johnson. Remember that guy, the guy that had a hair like a newborn baby chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him. <laughs> Let's see what people are saying in the chat. Um, uh, the bridge is saying, "What was that, Rob? Did she say she's exhausted or exhausting?" 
She's exhausted. She's only, she was okay when she came in the house, but she spent five minutes with me. <laughs> um, Chuske, you both look nicely dressed. Thank you, thank you. You need to... Uh, oh, yeah, I've read all that. Um, her blouse is muy chula. Says, oh, thank um, you. Thank you very much. Real zebra. She killed the zebra herself. <laughs> yeah, true story. I saw it. It was gross, but, you know, impressive how she made a blouse out of it. Um, I agree, Lady Boss says uh, JC. Is it a carrot? A tomato? <laughs> Will he last longer? No, no, no. I, I am with you, Chusky Trusky. Given that the lettuce be Liz Truss, the lettuce should have taken power. But that's not how they chose to play things. Um, Rosie Grams, we are stuffed. I hope, um, I hope not, Chusky Trusky. Yeah, I mean, let's see how this guy pans out. Um, a f- few facts: He's of um, Southeast Asian Asian descent, meaning his both his mother and father were were uh, of Indian descent, which is great. I think that's about time we have um, a massive multicultural and diverse country in um, the United States. So it's about time we had someone um, uh, someone leading the country from um, from Asia. It's probably. Um, He's Hindu. I believe his family are at least a Hindu. So the, he, he got this amazing news um, in Diwali, which is uh, the Indian festival of lights, man. He's having a great time right now. You could have done a portrait of Boris Johnson as your third chicken painting. Says, <laughs> <laughs> true story. Um, he's 42 years old, which, um, which makes him the youngest PM in 200 years. Can you believe that? 42 years old PM, the youngest in 200 years. Oh, wow. Which is in stark contrast to our friends in the States, right? (laughs) They don't elect anyone under 70. That's it. No one under 70 years old. (laughs) At least not, at least not recently. Who are you going to elect next? A giant redwood? What's like, how old do you want your, you want your presidents to be? Um, All he's, he's all about money and not the people, says um, Mama Bo. It is true. That he has an amassed fortune of seven hundred and thirty million pounds. He's one of the richest prime ministers ever that we've ever had in the country. Seven hundred and thirty million pounds in euros. That's um, that's approximately ten euros. <laughs> Thanks, Liz Truss. <laughs> Lady Bo and I are going to be millionaires when we get our euros exchanged to pounds this Christmas. <laughs> when you want a house, we've got it for you. Um. Uh, what else? What else? So yeah, I mean that's it, really. I mean, uh, I've got nothing bad to say about the guy. He's, he's yet to be proven. I mean, he's not. He doesn't stand on my side of the aisle. I'm, uh, you know, staunchly left wing, as you as you all know. Um, but he does. It is it is of some some comfort to me that he's um, a centrist. Let's see if he can unite the party and the country. If I were him, honestly, the first thing I would do. Well, actually, the first thing I would do is. He's called. Uh, <laughs> he's called President Biden and have a half-hour discussion of how to use Zoom. Probably, <laughs> you imagine that. He's forty-two years old, and Biden's like, isn't he like seventy-six? Their 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 first kind of like online meetings just going to be Biden saying, "Hello, can you hear me? Can you see me? Is my microphone working? Hello." <laughs> There's a gap. There is a bit of a gap. There is a bit of a gap. Um, no, the first thing I would do if I was him is schedule a new general election. Why would I do that? Let me tell you. Because you, most British people are now sick of the, the Tory government. The, the country's in, in a massive crisis and they want a general election. The first thing I would do is I, if I was Rishi Sunak is say, okay, in uh, three months' time we're going to have a general election. Upsides. Number one, Labour's going to win, so he's going to pass over that marron, as he say in Spanish. <laughs> he's going to pass over all that mess to the to the Labour Party. And number two, you know what I mean? He's he's going to go in to government with a divided party, a divided country, with a huge mess to sort out. You yes. Know? And as a young politician, as a young statesman, who knows if he's um, if he's equipped to be able to deal with it. I don't. I certainly don't. I don't know enough about the guy. It's a I'll, big challenge. It is a big challenge. I will. Um, I will read up on him a little bit further in the coming weeks. Um, let's see. Um, he's all about the money and not the people. That was from Mama Bo. He won't because he knows he can't win. Says um, says Mama Bo. I think that's the point. That's the point. If I were him, I would go into a new general election knowing that I can't win, and then being able to sleep at night. <laughs> you know, let Labour sort that out. Let Labour sort out. 
Um, we are going to dig up Ronald Reagan for our next president and resurrect him with voodoo ritual. <laughs> yeah, him or Yoda? Isn't Baby Yoda like 100 years old? Maybe he'll run for government. Um, and what else? What else can I tell you? Well, today they released a trailer for the new um, Marvel movie, the latest in meh. I'm not even excited about it, I'm going to be honest. Even though I do love Paul Rudd, who stars in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. I'm a big Paul Rudd fan. I am. I want to know his evil magic that keeps him looking 30 years old. <laughs> you know, he's old enough to be pri- he's old enough to be president. <laughs> no, I don't know how old he is, but he looks so young and good for his age. Yeah, it's yeah. It's unbelievable. Um, so, yeah, the new, um, the new trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, dropped today. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, it looks okay. Just okay, like meh, you know? Um, it was nice to see Michelle Pfeiffer in it, Michael Douglas, you know, the the whole crew is back, including um, uh, Ant-Man's daughter. I don't know if you're up to date with the whole Marvel thing. I did an episode, a practically an entire news section about Marvel, and like eight people watched it, so I'm really reticent to talk too much about it. But you know who did make a surprise appearance in the trailer, can you guess? Who? Cool. No. Bill Murray. Oh, I like it. Yeah, did you have you not heard about I don't know if we're supposed to hate Bill Murray now. Why? The PC police haven't told me on yet or not whether <laughs> whether we're supposed to hate him or not. Why are we supposed to hate Bill Murray? Okay, I this sickens me because I love Bill Murray as a comedian. Okay, so Bill Murray allegedly kissed and straddled um I don't know how you say that in Spanish, straddle. Orca. Oh, no. Neither do I. Straddle to sit on top of. Okay. Okay, so he kissed and straddled um, a female production staffer on the um, on the set of his new movie, Being Mortal. And also after that, then Gina Davis. You remember Gina Davis? Mm-hmm. Gina Davis um, spoke about, recently brought up um, a really uncomfortable interview, interview where Bill Murray pulled down the dress strap a dress strap and, and accused him of some kind of inappropriate behavior. Oh. Yeah. It's sad. It breaks my heart. Yeah, me too. I mean, I'm hoping that all this has been blown out of proportion because I do love Bill Murray. But you've got to think the Marvel executives were thinking like, um, should we record this trailer? <laughs> you know what I mean? Should we maybe just take Bill Murray because he's in it for a second. It's like two years ago when they started making the movie and they must have thought, oh, wow, we've got Bill Murray in it. What could go wrong? Yeah, yeah, I know. Chusky says, I enjoyed Ant-Man. Me too. Me too. Not so much the second one. The second one was a bit meh. And the one thing I will say about this new one, it just looks like a big CGI, computer-generated image. It just looks like it was all made in a computer and that the actors are all stood in front of a green screen. I'm a little bit sick of movies like that. I don't mind digital movies, don't get me wrong. If it's an animated movie, fine. But I'm a little bit bored of seeing people act against nothing. Do you know what I mean, guys? Have the Marvel movies not just turned into just some big CGI fest? They're not even using real footage anymore. I don't know. I'm Maybe I'm just an old man complaining. I don't know. I don't know. What's, what's your opinion in the chat, guys? Are you excited for this new Marvel movie? I am because of Paul Rudd, and apparently this is the beginning of the of the Phase 5. I'm, I'm boring myself talking about it. I can see myself here in 10 years' time talking about, oh, we're entering Phase 15 of the Marvel Universe. Whatever. You know? Whatever. <laughs> it's official now that we've got Superman back. Henry Cavill's back. My, my secret love. <laughs> Um, and that's it. No more superhero nonsense. Um, in other news, in uh, um, uh, paleontolog- paleontological, is that a word? In uh, dinosaur news. Oh, you all like dinosaur news, don't you? Um, there's a new dinosaur, folks. A new dinosaur. Um, apparently, you know where they discovered it? Ladybug, can you guess where they discovered this new dinosaur? I know. In a museum drawer. Yeah. They discovered this dinosaur in a museum drawer. And in 2024, the dinosaur will be running for President of the United States of America. (laughs) (laughs) 
That's what we call a callback in comedy terms, guys. You're welcome. No, no, they did actually, in Greenwich, two paleontologists discovered a previously unknown dinosaur um, uh, in the um, in the Bruce Museum archives. It's um, a tiny, it's a small dinosaur, um, the fossil of a little bird distantly related to modern-day grouses and turkeys. So there you go. It was, um, uh, you know, it would have been delicious, basically, reading between the lines. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it went extinct because bald radio presenters existed. <laughs> Star Wars fans complained a lot because of too much CGI. We love miniatures. Yeah, yeah, you'd think in a, in a movie called Quantumania, they would have used a few miniatures, right? Whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just past caring about the whole Marvel thing now. I will go and see it probably at the cinema because of my, my fascination with Paul Rudd, but jeez louise, man. Marvel need to do something. They need to do something because I feel like the universe is dying. I, th- you know, I think they made a mistake by doing TV. I think the TV. Te- I think I'm, I'm too, I'm oversaturated with Marvel nonsense mm-hmm. now. I enjoyed a lot. I don't know why people hated She-Hulk as much as they did. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I thought it was fine. It was funny in parts. It was nice to see Daredevil come back. But you know what I mean? Like, it used to be my Marvel hit was like three times a year. Now I've already, yeah, I've consumed more Marvel than I have family time. You know? <laughs> I've spent yeah, more yeah, time with right. She-Hulk than I have with Lady Bob the last two weeks. So yeah, I just, I'm, I'm a little bit over it. I would like to know your feelings on this, friends. Um, anyway, that's enough for the news. You know what we should do, guys? We should go into an unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, what is an unpopular opinion? Um, Every now and again, usually daily, around 10 o'clock in the morning, (laughs) I have a brain fart. Un pedo cerebral. No, you already gave me (laughs) one. I'll take it. I'll take it. You have already given me one for that phrase. I know. (laughs) I appreciate it. Is that me? Is that making up for lost time? Yeah, maybe. Have you gotten softer? Hmm. <laughs> She's gone. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> um, so I have a brain fart, and I post it on the internet. You guys vote on it, and um, and yeah, and then I, I see where the wind blows me, and I, I keep um, uh, and I march ahead with my argument. Today's unpopular opinion is: beauty has more advantages than intelligence. Beauty has more advantages. Than intelligence. I can see you shaking your head in the background there, Lady Bo. I will ask your opinion in a second. I'll let you compose yourself first. On Twitter. On Twitter. Let's go into Twitter. I'm giving you time now to think about your response, Lady Bo. On Twitter, the... Um, uh, and on Twitter, people agreed. I think. Let me see. Um, uh, by the way, you can vote for these on Twitter at P-R-O-B-O-H or on uh, Instagram at professional bohemian bohemian professional but in english um yeah 75 percent of people agreed with me on twitter beauty has more advantages than intelligence but quite the opposite on instagram yes on instagram they said false you know what that is virtue signaling all the people on instagram taking their little cute just woke up like this no makeup (sighs) you know that's them going no 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 intelligent whatever whatever you don't fool me instagram you don't fool me. Um, so on, so twenty-five percent of people of my brothers, the ugly people, um, said said no on on Twitter. If you told, um, I told you, if the replacement is not stingy with the compliments, she won't be able to pull off the replacement. I know. I will reprogram her later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you think no, right, Lady Bo? No. I think absolutely not. You think intelligence has more um, innate benefits than yeah. Um, beauty? Yeah. Beauty has an expiring date and intelligence doesn't. Um, okay, is and that's the that's the basis of your of your argument. That's the basis of your belief. No, it's not the basis. It's just intelligence is more useful, and it has more advantages. I mean, okay, okay, I respect that opinion. I respect that opinion. I will argue that no, that beauty has way more advantages. And being beautiful not only will lead you to, you know, better jobs, 
um, a happier life. Because of your beauty. Because of your beauty. But, but I'm not, the jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been shown. Um, it's been shown, and I'm going to point to um, I'm going to point to a specific thing. Companies with good-looking sales executives have higher sales. That's not exactly what I was looking for. I have another article here. Well, I'll, go, I'll come to it in a in a little bit. Um, but yeah, beauty beauty has all sorts of advantages, and I'm going to point to a specific study. That stood the title of that study. Um, was in the American Psychological Association um, Journal of Applied Psychology. Does it pay to be smart, attractive, or confident, or all three? Relationships among general mental ability and physical attractiveness and core self-evaluations and income. Okay, so this is a study that was conducted, um, a Harvard study, in May 2019, and it appeared in the May 2019 issue of the Journal of Applied Psychology, the study. It looked at 191 men and women between the ages of 25 and 75 who were interviewed three times, six months apart, starting in 1995. They answered the questions about their household income, education, financial stresses, and evaluated how happy or disappointed they were with their achievements up to that point. They compared several intelligence and... um, They completed, sorry, several intelligence and cognitive tests and had their pictures taken then several different people from the research team um, rated each person's attractiveness relative to their age and gender the raters were both men and women of varying ages and the authors calculated an average attractiveness score for each participant in those ratings how do you think it turned out lady Bo? <laughs> how well, surprise le- me let me tell you um, researchers found that physical attractiveness had a significant, a significant impact on how much people got paid, how educated they were, and how uh, how they evaluated how, how they evaluated themselves. Basically, people who were rated good looking made more money, were better educated, and were more confident. Oh my god! So I'm not going to only going to argue that beauty has advantages over intelligence. Upon having read this study, I'm going to say beauty is an it, it has a massive impact on overall intelligence. <laughs> you weren't expecting that from an ugly person like me, now were you? <laughs> Let's see what people are ch- saying in the chat. Maybe in an interview they don't have time to discover the intelligence. No, no, they did. They did study the intelligence. For those of you in my Patreon, I will post the link to the actual article. I found a PDF of the um, of the study, and the selection is based on beauty. Bad news for prepared people. Okay, the research did show that good-looking people tend to think more highly of their worth and capabilities, so they have more self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Okay which led to more money and less financial stress. Um, but the, the, study, the author's study notes that these findings should also be a warning to employers who may subconsciously favor, favor more attractive people. And this is actually a thing, believe it or not, beautiful people, I wish I could have time to, to, find this, um, to find this article, beautiful people have an advantage in the job market. Um, I'm away. If I can find it real quick, um, they have an advantage in politics. They're more li- believed to be more likable and trustworthy. Again, I will post all these, um, uh, all these in the in my Patreon. All these links. Um, they can be more persuasive. Beautiful people. Um, um, uh, Obviously, we've just shown there a link between beauty and intelligence. More than beauty and education, beautiful people tend to be um, uh, tend to receive better education. The thought process behind this, let me um, quickly explain, is that beautiful people have more attention paid to them. They get paid more po- more compliments when they're when they're um, uh, being clever. Compliments come easily, more easily to them. Oh, you're so clever, and because of that encouragement. Because of that encouragement, they tend to believe in themselves more, see less problems and more opportunities, and um, uh, and yeah, and tend to leave much better, much healthier, much more productive lives. <laughs> 
Look, don't blame me. Blame the um, uh, the American Foundation of, um, of Psychology. <laughs> it's not me saying this. I'm just the messenger, y'all. I'm just the messenger. See Ladybot getting annoyed with me in the background. The Ladybot. Ladybot. <laughs> <laughs> um... So yeah, I will post the links to both these articles in my um, uh, in my in my uh, um, uh, in my Patreon. But yeah, that's my argument. Beauty has been shown um, uh, not in not just one study in in various study studies that um, to be a, a distinct advantage over just intelligence. Obviously, if you mix mix beauty and intelligence. The um, uh, you know the uh, the rewards are even higher, but that does not diminish the fact that beauty is more of an advantage than intelligence. Guys, I'm going to post a poll in the chat. Um, it doesn't matter what the people on social media think. What matters is what you guys think. Um, I'll post a poll. Please vote on it, friends. I'll be back in a few minutes. There's so many things you could be doing today, my friends. So many things, an infinite number. But instead of doing those things, you're here with me, and it means the world. See you soon. Hey guys, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash professional bohemian. There you'll find VODs of the episodes as they are recorded live, blogs, vlogs, and behind the scenes content. If you'd like to watch the show live, you can do so on twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian. And you can participate in the polls we use in the show on Instagram at professional bohemian or Twitter at probo, P-R-O-B-O-H. Okay, on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Provo Show. If you're listening on the radio, it's currently 9, either a.m. or p.m. Because <laughs> the show repeats at 8.30. How are you doing? If you want to be here live for the recording, it's 8 p.m. Um, every single night on twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian. Or you can interact with the show's content on my social networks. That's at P-R-O-B-O-H on Twitter or at professional bohemian on Instagram. Okay, what did we talk about? We spoke about, in the first half, um, Rishi Sunak, the new um, Prime Minister. Um, We spoke about the new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer with um, uh, a surprise cameo from Bill Murray. And we spoke about a new dinosaur that that got discovered. Tiny little dinosaur, little birdie dinosaur that was a turkey. Boy. (laughs) (laughs) Like, similar to a turkey or a grouse. And then we went into today's unpopular opinion, which um, was quite unpopular. I didn't win it by as much as I thought I did. I'll um, I'll, let, I'll reveal the results of the poll later. Um, in Twitter agreed with me, but Instagram, do you, can you remember what the, the scores were on Instagram? 53%. 53 disagreed. Yes. Yeah. Ah, sweet summer children. That's virtue signaling on Instagram. We're all beautiful, but you know what I mean? It's so hard to be beautiful, whatever. Whatever. Get lost, Instagram. Get lost. Go home. You're drunk. Um, let's get into the comments, though, because that's where the, the real stuff is at. To prove your point, this is from Gandalf. To prove your point, when I lost 200 pounds after my weight loss surgery, I was treated better by management, I got promoted twice, and my income doubled. And you wouldn't be alone in that fact. Um, I, the smallest of small changes in my work, Started wearing a blazer. You call that in Spanish, you call it an Americano. And immediately, I mean, I guess there's a difference between dressing smart and dress and being beautiful. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's parallel. I wouldn't say it's completely different. And I noticed I got treated a lot better too. Got given more responsibilities, etc. Americana. Americana. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Chusky Trusky, I was joking. Agree, especially in this stupid, superficial society. Exactly. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it's so. Like, there's a difference between what I'm... uh, Like, I'm not saying I agree that beauty should be more highly valued um, uh, than it is. I'm not saying that at all. Of course not. I think intelligence should be paramount in our society. Sadly, it's not. You know what I mean? I don't think that people should trust or think... Um, uh, beautiful people are more trustworthy, more healthy, more whatever. I don't believe that people should think like that. It's just, the, you know, the studies, um, uh, the studies pan out to um, uh, to, sh- to reveal that as a fact. Um, no increase in experience, skills, or knowledge level, but all of a sudden, I looked better and started getting promoted in the company. That's from Gandalf. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's it's a sad fact. Like we um, uh, we often. 
we often don't discriminate um, uh, using intelligence as a factor, which is sad, which is sad. Um, when you say beauty, Rob, this is from the bridge, are you including hairstyles? No, bridge, because as we all know, when God made a mistake, he covered it with hair. You know? <laughs> and here I sit, bald, <laughs> bald and beautiful, friends. Perfect. <laughs> Um, uh, beauty is not only related is not only related to, to sex. It has many more advantages. Says Chusky, it does. It does. Um, even in nature, the best looking male or female always gets an advantage. Exactly, and we're not we're not so separate from the animal kingdom as we would like to believe. You know, uh, Ravdos is here. It's the dashing Rob and the lovely lady boy. How you doing, Ravdos? Welcome, welcome. And um, and the bridge. I agree. I don't know with which part you agree. But it's it's <laughs> it's it's sad. It's a sad state of affairs where um, we are so shallow a society that you know we attribute um, positive traits to um, to people based on their appearance rather than based on their intelligence quota. You know, we are stupid. We are stupid. This is exactly why we're going to go extinct. <laughs> we should. Um, and preferably neat hair, says the bridge. Bridge, the hair doesn't get neater than mine. <laughs> it's very neat, currently in the bottom of our drain. <laughs> I did cut my hair this morning. None of you have said anything. I said. You did. Because <laughs> you saw me do it, no? <laughs> but no one ever says anything. When I go into the office, they say, oh, what a lovely haircut. Never. Never. They just complain about how much light is reflecting off my head. That's all, that's all they do. <laughs> um, okay, you know what we'll do? We're going to go to a hundred humans. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a long walk to work today, guys. Across snow-capped mountains and through river valleys. And on that walk, I encountered a hundred humans. And I asked them all a question. Today, I asked them, name something a king would hate to be without. Are you listening, Charlie? This is for you, my friend. Name something a king would hate to be without. I asked them that question. They gave me their answers. I have um, the seven most popular answers right here. Your job in the chat is to identify those seven answers. All right. Are we ready? Joseki says, I was better treated when I was young and nice looking than now with eye bags and wrinkles. Dude, I hear you. I hear you. Do you know, isn't it funny how ageism is the only ism that is tolerated in society? It is. I made a horrific joke on the radio today, saying that there's too many old people. Oh. And and people just laughed. If I said that about any any other ism, you know, like women, people of color, whatever, pe- people would have fr- freaked out. But no, no, they laughed because it's old people. <laughs> and it's terrible. Like, I've noticed the same thing as Trusky. Like, the older I get... The, the less well or the less kind of immediate with less immediacy I'm, I'm, I'm seen to or treated or sad but true man one day we'll work that into an unpopular opinion um, your beard looks better than a few years ago says Chusky it's true it's because I've got a skunk beard now you know it's got lots of white it's got two white stripes in it I hate my beard colour it's it. cool it's not cool yeah yeah it is it looks weird it looks weird, just weird enough to look like I've done it on purpose, which, <laughs> which is even more annoying. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, Ravdos is kicking us off today, He's starting with a queen. A king would hate to be without a queen. Is it there? Yes, it is. <laughs> With 31 of the 100 humans saying a king would hate to be without a queen, that's first place. Well done. All right. Nuritam says servants. <laughs> <laughs> servants. I mean, do you think they call them servants now? I don't know. Or did, did they, have they made up a PC name for them, like helpers? Te- the the um, uh, cup-bearing technicians. I don't know. And to what degree are servants serving? Are they like wiping the royal bum? 
I, I would love to know this inside information. But, you know, servants is... Uh, um, uh, Nuri Tam says servants. Is it there? Yes, it is. It's there. Nuri Tam, well done in fifth place. Five of all... Uh, eight of the hundred humans said servants. Fifth place, well done. Um, uh, Ravdos says a crown. A crown. Also, Chusky Trusky said crown. Anyone else? No, no, no. Okay, crown. Is a crown there? Yes, it is. Well done. Um, 24 of the 100 humans says cr- say crown, and it's in second place. Well done. Corona, would you say? Yeah. Oh, Nivelazo. Oh, I'm just going to let that one sink in for a second, guys. Oh, that's how Richard Vaughn feels all the time. You know, just, you know, that knowledgeable in Spanish. You said I came softer. What's that? You said I came softer. Yeah, yeah, you're softer. With the nivelazos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look at me to give you nivelazos then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one, next one. Um, uh, We had crown. Throne says Ravdos, the bridge. They all say throne. Throne. What would a king be without a throne? Is it there? Yes, it is. <laughs> Guys, you, you haven't got a single one wrong yet. You're on fire. Throne is there. It's in fourth place with 14 of 100 humans saying a king would hate to be without a throne. All right, let's continue. Um, uh, where were we? Thro- Money. Money, says um, uh, says Nuriatam. Great, great answer. Money. Is money there? It's not there. But oh, you know yeah. it you know it's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you think do you think Charles would be the king if it didn't come with millions upon millions of pounds? I don't think so. Millions upon millions of pounds in dollars, it's about ten cents. Thanks, Liz Truss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, money, not there, sadly. Okay. Ravdos says a castle. A castle. Hmm, is a castle there? No, it's not. It's not there. What would a king be without a castle? That's my question. Um, okay. Guards, says Ravdos. Guards. Hmm, a king would hate to be without his guards. Is it there? No, it's not. By the way, Ravdos also said servants. Well done, guys. Well done, well done. Okay. Gandalf says, a pen that works. Can we get a, a, a Probo approved? <laughs> that gets the Probo stamp of approval. See the episode, King Charles Hates Pens. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> you believe I did an episode about King Charles hating pens? Yes, I did. Welcome to the Probo Show. Um, all right. <laughs> it's not there, Gandalf. Sorry. It's not there. should be, but it's not there. All right. Um, throne we had, money we had, um, okay, crown we had, slaves, says Trusky Trusky, he took it <laughs> one step further than servants. Slaves. <laughs> okay, um, crown, slaves, fame, says Nuriatam, fame. A king would hate to be without fame, is it there? No, it's not. Aye. All right, let's continue. Fame lovers, says Trusky Trusky. Always takes it to a sexual place. I approve, but you do. I've noticed. <laughs> lovers, is it there? No, it's not. All right, let's um, let's see. You guys are going to need some. Um, you guys are going to need some clues. Pomp and circumstance, says um, uh, says Ravdos. It's not there either. I'm sorry. Pomp and circumstance is all the revelry and nonsense, you know. You here comes the king. Welcome, king. Pomp and circumstance. Um, power. Ah, power. Ooh, that's a good. Qu- that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Is it there? No, it's not. Sorry, Chusky. Okay, you guys are gonna need some clues. Let's start at the. Let's start at position number seven. Position number seven. Um, a king, 
if a king doesn't have these, he's not he's not a king. You need, oof, you know, who's going to applaud when he steps out on the balcony? Yeesh. King needs two things: this and something a little more territorial. That's a clue for um, <laughs> for the third position. Um, let's see. Ravdos says a jester or a fool. We have um, we've called it a fool or a jester. Is that there? Fool or a jester? Yes, it is. Give him a round of applause. That's position number six. It seems like my um, my clues didn't help in the slightest. Um, he also says, he also says surfs. Surfs is an interesting word. Not surf as in Athel surf or tabla de surf. Surf is um, a person who is forced to work on a plot of land. Or could also be called subjects, right? A subject. The people who who call him king. The king's subjects. So that's Ravdos and Gandalf say subjects. Ravdos also says peasants, chattel. Okay. Is it there? Subjects. Yes, it is. That's it. Okay, the clue worked a little bit. <laughs> um, six of a hundred humans said subjects. It's in seventh place. Well done. There's just one more left. Okay, let's see. Gandalf says land. Hmm, land. Um, a, a royal cook is not there. Robe is not there. Um, a cape. Kappa. Cape is not there. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Lady Bart. Okay, land. Think, okay. Land. How do, what, you know, what, how, what do you call land that is ruled by a king? Land that is ruled by a king. <laughs> Kingdom. A kingdom. Give yourself a round of applause. All right. Kingdom is there in third place with 14 of the 100 humans saying kingdom. We got there. Ravdos got it. We'll give, we'll give Gandalf a shout out there as well. He said land. He also said kingdom right at the end. Well done. A country to rule, says Gandalf. Very good, guys. Nuriatam, kingdom. All right, guys. Guys, you're killing it. Let's go through the list. In position number... Seven was subjects, the people who call him king. He wouldn't be a king without those people. In position number six, we had fool or a jester, caught jester. How would you say that in Spanish? I don't know. Would it be a payaso? Is that just clown? Clown, payaso, great vocabulary. Nibelazo, thanks. Lady Mom. No, no, no. Told you it was a real. I'm tough again. <laughs> okay, in position number six, was servants. Servants, not slaves. Servants. <laughs> <laughs> In position number five was throne. Throne with nine of a hundred humans saying a throne. In position number four. Oh, did I miss one? Servants were. F- no, we're on position number three now. Yeah? Yeah, number four was throne. Okay. Three. Three was his kingdom. King would be hate to be without his kingdom. Position number two was crown. A king would hate to be without his crown. And in position number one what? was Queen. Well done, Ravdos, for saying Queen. You got it, guys. You got it. You got there in the end. Um, territory, says Chusky. A mistress to step when he has his wife murdered in a tunnel in Paris. Oh, Gandalf. Ouch. Um, a Buffon. Buffon, says okay, Nuriatan, okay. is, um, is a jester. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, that was today's 100 Humans. Let's go to Complete the News. Complete the News. All right, Complete the News. How does this work? I will give you a news headline. Um, un titular, is it? Really good. What? Que nivelazo. Thank you. I appreciate your uh, your compliment, lady boy. You've only told me how to say that correctly in five shows. <laughs> Finally got it inside my head. <laughs> okay, we're going to an Italian town. Civita di Antino, an Italian town. Um, And we're going to talk about the mayor, the alcalde of this um, Italian town. Okay, one second. So, here we go. A blank has been appointed the mayor of of an Italian town and will remain in office for one year. A blank 
has been appointed the mayor of an Italian town and will remain in power or in office for one year. Okay, I'm going to give you three options. If you're watching the show and you're too nervous to type, this is your moment. All you have to write is A, B, or C. If you know the answer, please do not spoil it for everyone else. Just write A, B, or C. Buffon comes from that word buffoon. I think buffoon probably comes from buffon, given that we, we, we've we stolen so many Latin words in, in English. Is it? Chusky's already voted A. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Is it A, a statue of Silvio Berlusconi? Oh. Not the actual Silvio Berlusconi, a statue. Is it B, the Japanese video game character Mario? Or is it C, a cat? Blank has been appointed the mayor of an Italian town and will remain in office for one year. Is it A, a statue of Silvio Berlusconi? Is it B, the Japanese video game character Mario? (laughs) Or is it C, cat? It's not racist to say Mario like that. Or or that this is the potential answer. Remember, guys, you were all upset that Mario didn't speak with an Italian accent. You're the racist ones. (laughs) I'm happy with Chris Pratt. Okay, let's see what people are saying. Um, I'm seeing, ooh, one, two, three A's, three C's, one B. I don't know whether to count Trusky Trusky's A. Hmm. So, a mayor. A blank has been been appointed the mayor of an Italian town and will remain in office for a year. Is it A, a a statue of Silvio Berlusconi, B, the Japanese video game character Mario, or C, a cat? I'm going to salute Gandalf. No, I'm going to sal- salute Momabo for being the only person to say Mario. Salute to you. It seems to be a tie between A and C. Let's get a drum roll, Lady Ball. A cat has been appointed the mayor of an Italian town and will remain in office for a year. <laughs> this is um, a true story. The black and white cat, um, Meow, spent her first day in office as mayor of the animals of Civita de Antonio in the Abruzzo region of southern Italy yesterday. Well, not yesterday. It was actually around two weeks ago, 12 days ago. Civita de Antonio Deputy Mayor Matteo de Fabio swore Meow into her role by placing an Italian tricolore ribbon around her neck as she is seen in the stately photos. If you are um, if you are watching the stream now, you see a cat. You see a, a picture of the cat looking all um, uh, distinguished with the <laughs> tricolore um, uh, <laughs> ribbon. Meow. That's her name. Meow. Maya meow. Alcalde meow. Um, well done. Swore meow, says Ralph Doss. <laughs> um, if you were a part of of a race, doesn't make it. Doesn't it make you race? Asking for a friend. That's true, actually. I'm Italian. I can't be racist. Hey, it's me, Mario. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should we um, should we move on to piece of news number two? <laughs> Here we go. Next one. We're going to San Francisco, folks. San Francisco has given us a lot of news for this section. So it, San Francisco is the new Florida. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the extreme left. It's the, the mirror of Florida. Where Florida is extreme right, San Francisco is extreme left. Here we go. San Francisco is building blank that will cost $1.7 million and won't be completed until 2025, the year 2025. San Francisco is building blank that will cost $1.7 million and won't be completed until 2025. Is it... A, a doghouse. I, I don't even know. Casa de perros, would you say? No, like casa a, para el perro. Okay, doghouse. Is it B, a single car parking space that will cost $1.7 million and won't be completed until 2025? Or is it C, a public toilet? San Francisco is building blank 
that will cost $1.7 million and won't be completed until 2025? Is it A, a single doghouse, B, a single parking space, or C, a single public toilet? This piece of news coming out of fox10phoenix.com. You know it's true. You know it has to be true. It's coming from Fox News. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. Lady Bo, uh, Mama Bo, The Bridge, they all say B. A car parking space. Got a few there for three for C. Ooh, it's a tie between um, uh, a prime minister, says Trusky. No, come on. Okay, C seems to be in the lead, a public toilet. Um, do I, do I um, has anyone said A? No one has said A. No one said a doghouse. Poor dogs. Come on. Dogs can have luxury homes too. All right, here we go. Let's get a drum roll, lady boy. San Francisco is building a single public toilet <laughs> that will cost... Yeah, yeah. That will cost $1.7 million and won't be completed until 2025. Until then, cross your legs. <laughs> Do the toilet dance. Until it's ready. <laughs> you know the toilet dance. Madre mia. We've all got a toilet dance. It's an expensive toilet, right? Wow. Um, San Francisco local officials were set to gather on Wednesday in San Francisco's Noah Valley Town Square to celebrate their latest win, a single public toilet that will cost as much as $1.7 million to build and won't be completed until 2025. If you are a member of my Patreon, you will get all these links that you can read over, um, as well as the um, as well as the VOD. Friends, what have we spoken about today? We spoke about Rishi um, uh, Sunak, the new Prime Minister of England, um, we talked about the Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer featuring Bill Murray and the new dinosaur, the new little dinosaur they discovered, so cute and tasty. Um, then we were looked at the unpopular opinion, which was um, beauty has more advantages than intelligence. Then we uh, looked at what kings would be um, lost without in 100 humans and these two amazing news stories, the feline Italian mare and the San Francisco expensive late bathroom. Oh my God, friends. What an amazing show we've just had. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Guys, there is an infinite possibility of things you could have been doing this afternoon, today. And instead of doing those things, you decided to spend a little time with me and it means the absolute world. See you next time.